There's so much drama going on right now. Ooh. Oh. Hey, what is up all my social climbing friends? It's Dustin and I am back with another video. I've been trying to get this video up since I woke up, but I had to order food, I had to take a shower, and all of that, life got in the way. But as you guys know, or some of you may not, Thomas Halbert actually uploaded a video today where he attempted to set things right and get the record out there that he's not this bad guy that everybody is saying that he is. I just wanna say that this was one of the most anticlimactic videos that I've ever watched in my life. And I know about anticlimactics. I've had plenty of men that I have not been climatic with and bad scenario. I did think that my wig was gonna be snatched going into it. I thought that he was actually gonna be open and honest and actually be somebody that would own their truth because he's somebody that like, he puts it out there that he's like just the most woke, the most real individual you could possibly meet. And I went in thinking that my wig was gonna be snatched, but girl, my wig is still sitting here. It, like, it's totally secure. Like, it's fucked up, but it's here. It didn't fly across the room. It didn't do any of that jazz. It was one of the worst comeback videos that I have seen, and there has been some very, very bad comeback videos. I mean, did you see Manny with his, like, docu-series that he was gonna do in Laura with her, like, three, I don't know what it is with these people with three minutes or whatever, but that, this is not about them. This is about Thomas. I believe his video was, like, 27 or, like, 30-something minutes long, and I was like, okay, well, we're, we're gonna get some tea in this. We're gonna actually get his side of stuff coming back after his fallout with Jeffree Star and him being completely exposed but it was literally none of that. It was him passing the blame off on his age. I do wanna talk about that just a little bit. There is a lot that you could probably get away with with your age. If you're like 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, maybe, but Thomas wanted to say that his age is an excuse for his bad behavior, that he's still a child. One, sir, if you are old enough to buy alcohol and get a mortgage in your name, you are not a child. You are a full grown ass man. You can make life decisions. You know what you are doing when you were 21 years old. There's no excuse for that. Some of the stuff that James Charles can get away with because of his age, which I really don't let him get past me with anything. You cannot, you cannot, you cannot sit here and act as if being 21 is any kind of excuse for the type of behavior that you've displayed. Using people, maybe not even so much using people, but being two-faced with people, saying one thing to one person and then taking what information you know from that person back to another person that is the enemy of said person, that is totally manipulative. You knew what you were doing in that moment and there is no excuse for that type of behavior. There is no excuse for you to act as if your age is some kind of scapegoat for you to have shitty behavior. That's just like you with this whole astrology thing. Now, don't come for me, I love astrology, but astrology is also not an excuse for people to do shitty things. Like, if you just do shitty things, you're just a shitty person. That's just it, point blank, period. Thomas has no one to blame in this situation but himself. Now, I do wanna say that he did bring up that he did disable comments on his Instagram. I, I think I follow Thomas on Instagram, but for those of you that don't know, Instagram is a time vampire for me. There are so many fine men on there, and I, I could literally scroll on Instagram for hours. I'm not exaggerating. I will get on there, my phone will be 100%, and I will scroll down until my phone battery is dying. It'll be like phone at 20%, and like, I, I can't. I stay away from Instagram as much as possible because I know my limits, and that is my limit. But he said that people were going on his Instagram calling him fat and stuff like that. I don't agree with that. We do know that Thomas has an eating disorder. However, I don't think that maybe, I feel like Thomas in some kind of way, he uses like mental health as a crutch, eating disorders as a crutch, and his upbringing as a crutch. And ultimately at his age, where he is at in his life, he needs to learn to take more responsibility for his actions and the way that he treats people in his personal life. So I do not condone anybody hating on him or sending hate his way about his way or anything like that. That is not cool. People do suffer from very, this is so rude. I don't know what it is when I sit down 
to film videos, it's like cars just want to go by. Like at this end of my house, it's at a main road. Cars want to go by. Just like in that video with Rich Lux, that motorcycle revved down the street. I don't know what it is, but I digress. I don't have the tweet, but I did watch Ashley Kyle's video. She did a very good video. If you guys have not watched it, I suggest you go watch it, where she actually uh, put in the tweet where Thomas said that mental health is actually an excuse. Mental health is not an excuse for anything. I was diagnosed as bipolar quite a few years ago, and I do not use my mental health for any reason other than like mental health. The only thing that I got from this video was Thomas trying to justify nasty behaviors and things that he's done to people by saying, oh, well, I have this, so you can't say that. Or I have this, you can't say that. And I feel like that we live in a time where everybody wants to use some kind of something to either make their self a victim or whatever. What happened to people actually owning their truth and standing up and saying, hey, you know what, I messed up. I want to be a better person. I know that I can't be a better person overnight in a week, two weeks, three weeks, a month, but I want to show you with my actions that I'm going to be a better person and I'm not going to repeat the same type of behavior. But no, Thomas had to upload this video because he felt like he needed to clear the air on things when in fact, in a lot of people's eyes, especially in my eyes and a lot of people that follow me on Twitter, they agreed that this whole video was nothing but a mess. The only thing that he did was actually solidify that he is not really a good person. Now you guys know that I've said numerous times I love redemption stories. I like to see people come back from the ashes. But like until Thomas can actually learn from something and take responsibility for his actions instead of pushing them off on other people and mental health and things like that, it's just a no for me. I've dealt with many of people in my life where they have tried to use different things as scapegoats for the way that they've treated me and ultimately it was them that were just being shitty people. Like if you can look at a problem and say, hey, I'm the problem, if you can look into yourself and find that you are the reason why this stuff is happening in your life, then you can fix it. But until you can realize that you ultimately made this decision or you made these decisions that led you up to this point, unless you can actually like own what you did, you're not going to be able to change as a person. You're not. That's just the fact of the matter. And then to top all this stuff off, I know that Thomas has went on like this blocking spree on Twitter. Like anybody that said anything about his video I know that he was blocking. I know that he blocked my friend Tawny. Tawny is like the least of Thomas Halbert's worries. Like she is so like not confrontational, like so not standoffish or like so not mean at all in the things that she says. For him to block her, I'm just like, and he tweeted back at me and you guys know in some of my previous videos about him. So I, I don't know if he watches my Twitter or whatever, but instantly when I put up my last video that I made about him, he tweeted back to me, quote tweeted and everything. So I definitely think that Thomas watches these videos that we make about him. And Thomas, if you're watching this video, the only thing that you had to do when you got on camera was own your truth. That is all that anybody can ask of you. We can't make you be a better person. We just want to see that you are attempting to be a better person, not pushing off what you did to people, not blaming what you did on a mental health issue or anything like that. Just own what it is. Like I said, I, I am bipolar. I was diagnosed as bipolar. I don't necessarily think that I am bipolar, but I was diagnosed as bipolar and I have never in my life used that as an excuse to be a shitty person. And I can be a very, very shitty person at some times. Can I, Eric? Yes. <laughs> He's in the living room, but I like, I can be a very nasty bitch. But Ultimately, when I am a mean person or I do something shitty to someone, I can look at them in the face directly and be like, you know what? I messed up. I want to own this. I want to do better. I want to show you that I'm going to do better. And from that point, I always do my best to make things right and to change what people think about me. And that is not what Thomas is doing. Now, he went on a, like a, a little bit about how he lost subscribers. Like, what did you think was going to happen? Did you think that people were just not gonna like call you out on what you did? People can see through this stuff, especially when you're faking it. On YouTube, people can tell when you are being fake. I've been saying it for a long time. These people, you people that watch these videos, subscribers, you know when somebody is being fake. It is not that hard to tell. And there is nothing getting past you guys. And that's what I love about it. Like there are people out there just like people that watch me, you guys that are watching this video that hold people accountable. And I think that that is amazing. 
that is not something that you should just do on social media. It means that if you come on here and you can hold people accountable on social media, that means that you hold people accountable in your real life. And that is amazing because you know what your worth is and you know that you want the truth. And that's all that anybody can ask of anyone. You guys, I know I don't want to make this video too long, but I want to know what you guys think about this because honestly, I'm still going to watch Thomas Halbert because I have to watch all YouTube channels because I am a drama channel, but I'm going to be watching him very closely just to see if he does change. I really don't have high hopes for Thomas because it seems like he doesn't want to change and he just wants to like push the blame off on other things and other people and different things in his life and that is not okay. But as always, you guys, be respectful down below. Let me know what you think and I will see you guys on my next video. It's going to be a doozy because we're going to be talking about Mr. James Charles. I love it so much. But I will see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.